on guys today I wanted to jump back into beam ng drive just because I had so much fun last time I know the video that I first posted part one didn't even get that many views But I really enjoyed the game so much. I felt like I, I just wanted to play it play it again and do a part two I, I if you remember correctly in the last part I went and asked you guys for help on what mods I should download so I have a mod I have a single mod, but do not worry it is a very, very good one. So I do have some stuff to go on to. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish up our Senseless Destruction uh, campaign here. And then we will go jump into some of the new stuff, which is just crazy cool stuff. Oh no, I've got to start back at number one. It doesn't save your progress. Okay, this is one that I actually wanted to try to do a little bit better on because last time I screwed up real bad. So I want to see if I can do a little bit better this time. I know slow and steady is going to be the correct technique. I'm trying to predict the movement of the bridge, and it's kind of difficult. I'm doing 12 miles an hour. Try to pick up that speed a bit. Maybe speed is the answer. Oh my god, I feel like the bridge is narrowing. I feel like we're doing good. We're doing pretty good. Can we get to the other side? We have 10 seconds to go. We're pretty close. Eight. Yes! Yes! We did it! We made it to the other side! To the other side. Well, I don't know how that song goes. Does it go something like that? Oh, wow. Distance! Nailed it! Boy! Oh my god, last episode I was getting bronze on everything. Today is- today is my day. This was seriously my favorite one ever. Every time! And that was okay. Oh, wow, I blew the- I blew the- Thingy off the tire, and it's just rolling away in the distance now. But that's gonna be another big gold medal. That's that's always good. All right, number eight, downhill. We got a semi truck. Are we just gonna be driving this thing downhill? We have 20 seconds to get there. We got it narrowing. That is a really big hill. Then we get better. Be oh, we like doing like a hill or uh, like a ski jump in this thing. Are we just trying to get as far as possible in this crazy semi? All right, I feel like I'm back in like American Truck Simulator. So the thing narrows up here. Then it gets very steep. I let off the gas there. Now I'm gonna get back on the gas. Oh, it's turning. Oh, I didn't realize there was a corner. Didn't realize there was a corner that I should be aware of. And I may have blown up the truck. Slightly. My damage <laughs> Are you saying I didn't blow up the car enough? Is that why I didn't get gold? All right, what are we doing with this? Jump in the cop car. No way. Oh, this is like a ski jump. Destroy this. Accuracy plus 700 points. All right, I don't know how far that is or how hard we're gonna have to jump, but I mean, I guess for my first attempt here, I should just gun it as much as possible and hope I don't fly way too far. Yeah, I don't think, I think that's gonna be way too far. And by way too far, I mean like an inch or two. All right, come on, cop car. Down we go. And let's try to center this thing up, and then we're gonna switch to this camera, and I'm gonna lift off now! Yes! <laughs> direct hit! Direct hit! I don't think there's gonna be that much damage points, but I landed directly on the engine. 239 of 300. Oh yeah, that's gold. Accuracy, 700 points. You could not get much better than that. I mean, you could blow up the car. But I would be amazed if someone could do that. All right, number 10 is a wall jump. What does that mean? Ooh, we're in like a Maserati looking thing. We get 300 points if we destroy that. Stick to the path. Hit this. Drive fast. Okay. Good. Better. Okay. Okay, we got this. I don't really understand how this is per se a wall ride. But I mean, oh my god, this thing's really fast. Through the wall. Oh, over the wall. And we need to get some big distance over here. Try to fly as much as possible. There we go. I don't think that was too bad. We got damage 449 points on our distance. We max it out. I want to try that one again because I know I can max that out. I want to lift off there. Oh, we've taken the underside off of my car and we're going to land pretty well. We're going to roll pretty far. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We're actually still driving. The car actually still worked. Anyways, our damage was a little bit bad. Really? You're still gonna give me bronze for that? Or, or silver for that? I don't accept that. That's not true. All right, so this is number 10. Oh, we've got the wheelie car. And we've got to get past this. 
So how are we gonna get past that? Are we gonna have to drive along the left side of it? I mean, I guess so, right? Let's pop a sweet wheelie though. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. I wish we had like NOS. Do we have NOS? We have 18 pounds of boost or 80 pounds of boost. 80 bar, is that how that works? We just absolutely ate knobs on the underside of this car. Oh, there goes the wheel. There goes the exhaust. Possibly that front bumper looks like it's coming off. That wheel went real far in the distance all the way back there. And now we spinning. I mean, that's gotta be pretty. We lost two wheels in that? I did not see where the other wheel went. 980 points out of a thousand. Senseless destruction is complete. We're picking up gold. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's pretty good. And we could have improved on this cli cliff ram a bit. And we could have improved on this downhill bit. But other than that, 10,000 out of 11,000. We, we, we missed 1,000 points. That's not bad at all. Anyway, so here's what I was talking about before we, uh, we started this video. I've got some scenarios now. And these scenarios, I have some modded ones by a guy named... the Where's his name? His name is 99. Spelt like that. Uh, apparently had some really good mods on the on the BMNG Drive website, and you guys told me to check him out. Uh, so I did. I downloaded like his pack thing, which came with I think it was four scenarios and a bunch of cars. And uh, I want to try this one. This one is escape from the tunnel, an earthquake destroy the tunnel and blocked all the escape routes except one. Just follow the available routes and hope to find a way out there. But beware, the right side of the tunnel, the one you're starting in, is damaged. Watch out for rocks. Tips and hints: don't forget to turn on your lights. Don't slow down too late before you enter a turn. They are closer than they appear. Time limit, 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Alright, so we've got three checkpoints. And we gotta watch out for, I guess, debris and whatnot in here. Oh. Well, how do we turn on our lights? Oh, there are my lights. My lights are... My lights is N. Okay, let's... let's We good. Alright, let's go. Uh, no! Why do I need to change gears now? I would... I don't want to change gears. Oh, is it because it's on hard? Is that why I have to change gears? Anyways, I think we're fine. In our in our Maserati thing. I think we'll be okay here. We just gotta watch out for all of these things. This is apparently a very hard mission. From, uh, from what the game has said to me. So, I'm gonna watch out for a bunch of things. We have 2 minutes and 25 seconds to get to our destination. Wherever that is, I have absolutely no idea. I have a feeling, though... In a short little bit, we are going to need to absolutely stomp on the brakes. I feel like there's going to be a very sharp corner coming out. And I'm not going to see it. There it is. Stomping on the brakes as hard as possible. I'm going to smash the wall, shifting down. I think my tire may have eaten the majority of that. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but my uh, my front right is turning to, to the right pretty hard. Well, that didn't go well. Get it down into second gear for the corner. Perfect. That, I mean, that, he probably could have braked later, but, I mean, rather safe than sorry. Am I, am I right? And then we know up here there was another corner that we needed to watch out for, so I'm going to get on the brakes now. Braking for that corner, down into second. Then get back on the power again and accelerate through the corner. All right, and now for this bit. Where am I supposed to go? Get on the brakes hard. I mean, I could go this way. But I feel like this is just wrong. I mean, I guess I got around it. Like, is this where I'm supposed to be going? Oh, I see some lights up there. Okay, I guess this is where I'm supposed to be going then. Alright, so there's something up here. I see a red flashing light. Now, I have no idea what this is. Um, I mean, this might be the checkpoint. Could this be it? That was the finish! Right there! That was the finish! And I got here in time! Nope, 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 nope. How do you, how do you exit a scenario? Alright, so let's see what other things we have here. There was one that caught my interest a little bit, and that was... Oh, yes, it was the, it was the... I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Where'd, where'd it go? Delivery truck takedown. There we go. We are apparently going to be a cop, and we're going to have to crash into uh, an 18 wheeler or a box truck of some sort and take him out. A huge delivery truck is speeding reckless recklessly through the area. Take it down any way you can. Tips and hints. The truck is far heavier than your car, but you but also far slower. 
Try to use its weight, momentum, and high center of gravity against it. Good luck. Okie dokie. Let's uh, try this. I'm gonna need to put on the, the lights. No, I'm apparently in, in manual gears still though. Maybe? Am I in manual gears? No, I think I'm in auto. Yeah, but I've got my blues and twos. Here we go. All right, we're chasing down a truck. This is really cool. We're like a legit cop. Smash into him. Oh my God, careful. My car is 1% damaged. Okay, uh, he's trying to bully me. He's trying to bully me. I should probably not try to jam my engine bay under his wheels. I mean, he's, he's like smoking now. What did it? <laughs> Success. Okay. I've, I've done good. I want to do that again, though. That's really cool. I feel like we can do a much more dramatic takedown than that, though. Okay, my strategy this time is going to be to come at him, get in front of him, and then break. Now, I don't know if he's going to try to murder me. No, he's not. I'm just going to come in front of him. Break. And then. And then. Oh, you cheeky. Wait. My car. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I let's just go back to the scenarios. Then there was a, another cop one as well, though. Here, the Utah Chase. All right, this is by 99. This is the same guy who made the uh, the tunnel escape one. So this one should be pretty good. The variety mod Utah Chase number one. You've got a brand new ETK uh, something pursuit unit. You better not wreck it, or your boss will fire you. Tips and hints. Just tap the D25 and hope that it loses control. After that, you'll have to prevent any kind of movement. This might be very, very difficult for some people. Stay patient. I mean, it won't be very difficult for me, man. So where's this guy we're going after? Oh, get it in, get it in first gear. All right, we, we going. Okay, I got manual. Well, I didn't, I clearly didn't see the rock in the way. Try that one again, avoiding the rock this time. And it says, get him. All right, where is he? So I've just got to tap this guy and hope he loses control. Aha, I see him. What is he in? Oh, sweet drift, bruh. Okay, we good. We good. I just got to tap this guy because I'm not allowed to blow up my car. So let's keep going. Polizia! Is that, it says Polizia in the top of my thing. I can't even hit him that hard. I see why some people will get frustrated at this. So I don't know how I'm going to do this if I can't like crash into him. They basically said just tap him, and that's it? We'll need to see what happens here. Oh, I see. I see how we're gonna get him. There's no wall there. All right, so we're gonna need to time this rather well. Oh, he's driving fast. Oh, he's driving real fast. Okay, um, we're gonna probably wanna get on the inside of him and try to push him out. Uh, which way is he going? He's gonna continue going straight. He's driving really fast. I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't lost it. Like, he's in a massive truck, though. Oh, oh, oh! Let's give him a little tap. My car's 95% down. He just drove over my car. He... My car is not 90... This is what I... This, this is what I think of this. Braking again. Now, I don't really want to hit him here. Okay! Well, that was not the plan. What if I just wait for him to screw up? Like, I imagine he will. He he seems to be driving really recklessly as soon as I get behind him. So if I just chill behind him, like pressuring him, I feel like I can get him. Like, I don't even have to crash into him per se. Like, I mean, I can do that. Stop in the name of the law! Stop! My car is not 95% damaged. Nothing is happening to my car right now. I am a cop. You will, you will bow to me, sir. Suck my knob. That went really well. I think there's one more cop one in here. The small island chase one should be cool. This one is, oh, I didn't read who the author was, but I think this one's BMNG. A Pesiyama has been running wild on the small island. Stop it before it's too late. I love this cop car, by the way. It's uh, pretty cool. All right, let's shift it up into first. And now am I going to be in manual gears? I am going to be in manual gears. So, I mean, I'm going to need to watch out for for my gear ratios and whatnot, but I think I got this guy. This this should be a fairly easy takedown, I think. Police, stop! Oh, this is a this is a good old American cop car. Oh god. 
Yeah, I blew up the cop car. So, I mean, slow and steady will probably be a pretty good technique around a lot of these corners. And like last time, just waiting for him to make a mistake, I think will be the best thing for us. Oh, he's slowing down. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. That was a big mistake. My car is 30% damaged from that. I don't... I do believe you. This is like the best cop simulator there is. Like, like GTA is pretty good, but this one, also pretty goddamn good. You want to stop moving, buddy? You want to stop? Thank you. Got you. Ah, oh, sweet. That was good. Gold medal and everything. Is that the last one? I think that's last. Oh, this is the last one. East Coast Chase number two. Oh, we've got two more. Never mind. Two more to go. East Coast Chase two. Catch that Moonhawk. All right, so that's a car which is spawning... I'm not sure where. I, I I think in front of me. Oh, it's that guy. It's the bright orange guy. Which way are you going? You're going left or right? You're going left. Okie dokie. I'm not going to hit that massive curb there. I see that. All right. Good to go. Now I feel like I'm in probably like the 50s. I feel like LA Noir all over again in a cop car like this. State police. Oh, damn. This guy's pretty quick. Oh, God. The back of my car got loose and just stepped out completely lost it. I don't know what caused the car to, to lose the back end like that. It was really weird. But anyways, I'm just trying to close the gap between him and myself. Counter steering. Drifting back here. Alright, 12% damage. I'm aware my car is 12% damaged. We're okay. We're totally okay. Push him. 16% damage. He's trying to get that corner back there. Reverse! Reverse! I'll take that. All right, reports of a criminal around the sawmill. Go catch him. We can uh, do our best with that. This time, we're in the Moonhawk. We can uh, we can try to do this. Uh, I don't see him, so we'll need to uh, look out for him. I'm not sure what his car looks like, but I'm sure we can find him. Oh, did he go up there? I saw some dust coming from up there. Where'd he go? Did he come in here? Do we see any dust flying? Do we see any tire marks anywhere? I don't. I, I feel like he continued down the road and didn't actually come in here. I feel like he started in there. Let's restart. Now, is he driving straight? I feel like he is. Okay, so there's some burnout lines going straight out. There he is. So he did go straight. He didn't come. He Or he came from in that place I was in. My bad. All right, so the Moonhawk's quite drifty, quite light. I'm just going to smash the back of you, buddy. I'm just going to smash the back of you. I'm going to put you into a tree. Then I'm going to get you. I'm 19% damaged. The front of my car is probably not looking too hot right now. It is not. Let's put him into the wall. We got you, buddy. We got you. Suck it. Success. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe down below. Make sure to let me know what else you guys wanted me to try in this game. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. I want to do some more of it. I love those cop chases. So if you guys have any more cop chase scenarios, please let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter or something like that. It would be much appreciated. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!